Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about the goals of shaping the root canal. And at last, I will also give the mnemonics to remember these goals. Root canal should be widened for four reasons basically. To eliminate microorganisms on the canal surface mechanically. This is the first goal. Root canals should be widened for to completely removing the pulp tissue because even when a vital pulp is extirpated, tags of pulp tissue and odontoblast cling to the canal wall and are not removed with the body of the pulp. They later undergo necrosis and provide an environment for bacterial growth. Similarly, to increase the capacity of root canal to permit the irrigating solutions to reach the apical third for effective disinfection. So, for this goal, root canals should be widened. And the fourth reason for widening the root canals is to shape the root canal so that gutta percha will be received smoothly into the root canal because the wider the canal, the easier it is to fill it. And the mnemonics to remember these four goals is micro pig. You just imagine a very small pig, microscopic pig, which is quite unnatural. So that will help you memorize the points better. Now let's see what does micro pig stand for. Micro stand for for the elimination of microorganisms on the canal surface mechanically. This is one of the goal, micro for the microorganisms, to eliminate the microorganisms. Pig, P of the pig stands for removal of the pulp tissue, okay? Pulp extirpation, pulp tissue removal. You can memorize it like this. For I, that is irrigating solutions, to increase the capacity of the root canal to permit irrigating solutions to reach the apical third for effective disinfection and lastly G gutta percha gutta percha to shape the root canal to receive gutta percha because the wider the canal the easier it is to fill it how was the mnemonics for more mnemonics like this please like this video and subscribe our channel we'll see again in our next video